Hello, and welcome to this brief overview of the Zaloni data platform. Today, we will illustrate how Zaloni provides a unified data management and governance platform that reduces time to delivery, lessens the burden on IT, and increases the productivity of all users who want to consume consistent, accurate, and reliable data in their data lake. The three parts of our methodology include enabling the environment. This includes ingesting a variety of data at scale, operationalizing and governing the processing and transformation of this data, and finally, engaging the business with a global data catalog that provides all users the ability to easily find and provision relevant data for their operational and analytic use cases. Let's assume I am a data engineer and I have customer and sales data coming in every day. If used together along with the product and promotions data, this can be used to provide valuable insights into various business KPIs, enabling just-in-time promotions, increased sales, and strategic directions for future suppliers. To accomplish this, I need to ingest the data into the project, make sure it's of high quality and properly secured, and then add it to the global data catalog to make it easily accessible and available to myself and the analytics team. Let's turn it over to my colleague Clark for a look at how the Zaloni Data Platform, or ZDP for short, enables all of this and more. And here's the opening to the Zaloni Data Platform. We can see at the top left side of the screen, I have my different capabilities. In the middle is our global search, which allows us to find all the different technical, business, and operational artifacts in the environment. In the lower left-hand side of the screen, I see all the privileges I have as a data engineer to create workflows, entities, and transformations. I see my recent history in the middle part of the screen to get back to activities I was working on quickly. And on the right side of the screen, I see all the different activity across projects in the data lake. So now let's go and search for artifacts across the global data ecosystem. And so here we can see different artifacts that make up my data lake modernization project. Entities, workflows, data quality rules, data quality rule sets, and namespace variables. On the left-hand side of the screen, I can filter down into the various artifacts. I can pick entities based on their data stores, table types, schemas, target and source, or the zones that they're stored in in the environment. So now we'll go and look at the purchases raw entity in our project. And we'll view the entity to see what its structure looks like. Here I've got access to the high-level business information and I can even add additional labels to describe the data within the entity. I can give it a business name, a business description, and subject area that describes the data. Below it is the technical information that shows where the data is stored and how it's stored in the different formats and when the data was created. And finally, the advanced technical information that will show me the information such as partitioning or sorting or buckets under the entity fields. We can see that we have fields that have masking patterns and tokenization applied to them. And if I click on a view of the field, I can see that it has a specific business name and description. I can see the algorithm of the tokenization that's being applied to it. But also I can drill down into the data quality rule that's been associated with it to view its description, expression, and any tagging that's been applied. Now, in order to execute those data quality rules, we need to run them within a workflow. So if I go up to my prepare capabilities, I can go over to workflows, and I have the ability to manage, monitor, and schedule workflows in the environment. We'll click on manage and go view one of these workflows that's associated with the entity. And here I can see a singular workflow with many processing types across many different processing languages. And now we'll execute these workflows. And here I can monitor the different tasks to completion. Once the workflow has completed, I can go over to this tab to see if it was successful or aired out or needs to be restarted. And I can go down and look at the individual logs or the individual tasks within the workflow 
for success or failure. Here again, you'll see that we're running many different processing types, Hive, Spark, Python, and API calls. So now let's go back to our search. And here you'll see that we have many new entities that have been added to the environment as our data pipeline has completed. I have both good and bad data. And I also have a secure entity that stores my tokenized data. Down at the bottom, I've created trusted and refined entities as part of our workflow. And now we'll access our raw entity again. And here, if we go into the fields view and look at the field total amount, what we'll see is that we can access a profile of the data. Here we have the descriptive statistics of the field, as well as the most and least frequent values and a histogram visualization of the field data. Next, we'll look at the ingest history, which will show the volume and files over time. We can see the data lineage, where the entity it was sourced from and different workflows that were applied to it. On the side, we have the details of those workflows, when they started, when they ended, were they successful, and who executed them. The data quality pane tells us a history over time of how the data quality has changed for individual fields that have rules applied to them. Here we see that the product code has an 11% failure rate. And supply number has a 16% failure rate. If we go back to our entities, we can now drill down into the final version of it, the purchases trusted entity. And we can see where the tokenization has been applied to the supplier name and the masking to the supplier number. So as a data engineer for this project, that would be the end of my journey. And now the data analyst can log in and access a marketplace experience to the global distributors data. At the login screen, we can see that Todd has different privileges as a data analyst, and he can do a global search on the artifacts across projects that he has access to. He can go and add the trusted data to his shopping cart. He can pick all or some of the rows or a subset of columns and save that to a shopping cart. And then he can go and choose to provision that data to another environment. So here, Todd can give it a good description for the name in case he wants to reuse this work again. Next, we'll select the source system where the data resides. And then we'll choose a destination. We're going to pick a DBMS. And we can choose from different database types. Todd's going to choose the Snowflake connection. He can test that connection, and then he can has different options for the target environment. Next, he can review his work to see that that's correct before he submits it, and enable notification for success or error. Next, we'll submit the job. And we are provided a monitor to see that it succeeds. Thanks, Clark. So let's recap. Today, what we've illustrated is how Zaloni supplies organizations with unified data management and governance through the Zaloni data platform. Using this platform can reduce time to delivery and lessen the burden on IT via self-service ingest wizards and reusable data pipelines. At the same time, the global data catalog and persona-driven user experience increases the productivity of all users who want to consume consistent, accurate, and reliable data across their enterprise. Visit Zaloni.com to learn more about leveraging ZDP to create a production-grade data lake that accelerates your business insight.